Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run non-parametric test using Python. So for this, we will go in Jupyter Notebook. In my previous video, I have already discussed that first we do the normality testing of the data. If data is normally distributed, then we run parametric test. But if the data is not normally distributed, then we go for non-parametric test. So some libraries which we'll have to import is import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, df is equal to pd.read underscore csv, specify the path from where the data is to be imported, then df, it will give me the entire data frame. Now, it is a stacked data. So first of all, I will have to segregate male and female from here. And therefore, I'm running the command line df is equal to df salary gender copy. So I'm now considering in the data frame only salary and gender. Now df gender is equal to pd dot categorical df gender. I'm converting this into the category. Now I'm creating two groups. Group one is equal to df dot loc df gender equal to equal to uh, f group 2 df dot loc df gender equal to equal to male now i'll be running man whitney u test which is which is a non parametric equivalent of independent sample pre test we run man whitney u test when our data is not normally distributed it is also considered uh, considered as non parametric version of t test so from skypy dot stats import man whitney u Stat comma p is equal to man with me u group one, which is female salary group two salary. Print statistics is equal to percentage dot three f three floats. So I'll get the statistics in three decimals. P is equal to percentage dot three f. So this is a p value. Percentage into bracket stat comma p. Now the interpretation is. So if p value is greater than alpha, medians of both the groups are equal. Else, medians of two groups are not equal. The null hypothesis in this case is median of male salary is equal to the median of female salary. Alternative is median of male salary is not equal to the median of female salary. So if your p value is less than 0 0.05, we reject null. You can see here that the p value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore medians of two groups are not equal. Now this is an independent sample t-test. If you want to run dependent sample, non-parametric version of dependent sample t-test, then it is a Wilcoxon sign test. So here also our null hypothesis will be, the null is there is no significant difference in the beginning and the current salary. Alternative is there is a significant difference in the beginning and the current salary. So, first of all, again we will import the data. The reason for this is in the previous case, we have extracted only gender, salary, and gender. And therefore, when we'll run this DF, we'll not be able to get salary begin. And therefore, it is necessary that again we import the data set. Now, from skypy.stats, import Wilcoxon, stat, comma, p is equal to Wilcoxon DF salary, comma, DF salary begin, print. Everything else remains same. I request all of you that kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of entire series. So everything else remains the same. So the condition is if the p-value is greater than alpha, medians of beginning and current salary is same. And if it is less than alpha, we will reject HO, which means that the medians of beginning and current salary is different. Now you can see here that after running this test, we got p-value which is less than 0 0.05, which means that the medians of beginning and current salary is different. Now, if we are comparing more than two groups, the parametric uh, test which we, were running, uh, which we were running was ANOVA. But if your data is not normally distributed, the non-parametric version of ANOVA is kruskal wallis test. So here, I'll be using uh, the IRIS data set. So df is equal to pd.read underscore excel. I'll specify the path 
df dot head. Now I will extract the data according to the species name. The species name is Setosa, Virginica, and Versicola. So df is equal to df sepal width species name. So sepal width and species name. Copy. So value 0 is equal to df dot loc df species name equal to equal to setosa sepal width. Value 1 is equal to df dot loc df species name virginica sepal width. Value 2 is equal to df dot loc species name equal to equal to versicolor sepal width. Now from skypy dot stat import cruscal stat comma p cruscal value 0 value 1 and value 2. So this is the sepal width for setosa, this is a sepal width for virginica, this is a sepal width for versicola. Now when I will run this test, the null hypothesis is, the null is medians of all groups are equal, alternative is medians of at least one pair is different. The alpha value that is level of significance is 5%. So if p value is more than alpha, Medians of all groups are equal. We fail to reject HO. If alpha value is less than 0 0.05, then we will say medians of at least one pair is different. We reject HO. So when we will run this, we got the output p value is less than 0 0.05, and therefore we can say here that medians of at least one pair is different. So for more videos on data science using Python, Kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using Python. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button.